giving me a headache and a half. Here for takeoff and denied again by Morning. Fakes him out of his shoes and dumps it in over him. Adversity, more often than not, is the seed of opportunity. Faced with adversity at seemingly every stop last season, Miami surely could have crumbled. When the weight of the moment seemed always at its peak, they instead found a way to respond, building the resolve that would carry them to within two games of a title. With the majority of their core returning to start this campaign, and with the attention of the basketball world thankfully focused on so many other early season sagas, the Heat began with few of the obstacles that marked and at times marred last season, save for one. Ball deflected by Wade, taken by LeBron, and Wade is hurt. Oh, to make matters worse, Wade is hurt. Injuries have kept Dwayne Wade out of the lineup for much of the season's first month, but in his absence, many have seized the moment. Bye. As his return appears imminent, his otherwise healthy team appears to have found the depth injuries did not allow them to tap into last season. To add back such a powerful persona is almost unfair, but we're not complaining. Time for Miami Heat basketball on Sun Sports. Welcome to the latest edition of Heat Live delivered by Papa John's. The Heat have won five of the last six games, but there are grumblings about how the Heat have played the last three games despite winning the last two in back-to-back -back fashion. The Knicks, they love that kind of scrutiny. Knicks Heat on Sun Sports tonight. The rivalry rages on. Three seconds left. Wade steps back. Yes! You can tell Wade from that lip. Don't get him mad. Don't tug on Superman's cape. And don't split his lip. Yes! Oh, baby! Here's Wade for the jumper. It's good! There it is, baby! Here's Wade. Comes back with two more. Unbelievable! Here's Wade driving on Chandler all the way in. Fires it up for two. Wade jumps a three. He's got five threes. He's tied his career high. He's set his career high. He's on fire. Wayne Wade, we go back to that Rocky Mountain high. It was not fun against Denver as Mr. Wade went up and got down and all over that ankle that has been a problem with other body parts. That right side went down along with the left side, and there was, there was a wrist. There was a, a little bit of everything. He worked out in Detroit. He worked out last night. He worked out tonight at 635, and we had cameras and tape rolling as Dwayne Wade, ladies and gentlemen, will return to your Miami Heat starting lineup. He is ready to go. But as one comes in, there is one who will not be on the floor tonight. Not a part of your Miami Heat. Carmelo Anthony making it plain this morning that he will not go. If you take a look at his numbers, he's been off. And he's been off mostly because his body is an absolute mess. He's got the wrist, the ankle, he's got right thumb injuries. That's a problem. He's going to shut it down for a couple games beginning with tonight. Earlier today, both coaches talked to us about their stars' bodies. He's able to work yesterday as well. So he's been able to do court work now and full speed conditioning, full speed uh, drill work. Uh, agility work. He's, he's been doing all of that for about a week now. Since his ankle injury, he was out here working out before the game. There he is warming up. Two weeks since his ankle injury, he has a, had a full week of work and conditioning on the court. And uh, the Heat have been patient and judicious with him. But after two weeks of rest and rehabilitation, D Wade is ready. And tonight he is back. But Tony, while he was gone, LeBron James and Bosch have become the NBA's top scoring duo. And the Heat in better position because of that added depth. And you see evidence of that depth from their point guards as well. Eric, they, they picked up more than the slack of Dwayne Wade, their fellow All-Star being out. These two guys have been unbelievable. Play, maybe the best at their position during that stretch with Wade being out. 
just just incredible games between them. Six 30 plus point games between them in the last six games. Chris Bosch against the Cavaliers 10 for 16 from the floor made all 14 free throws made important baskets when they counted down the stretch buried it. That shot right there was a run of eight straight points with the Cavs on the heat heels. Great job. Then you got LeBron against the Pistons 32 points 9 of 20 from the floor 13 of 14 from the free throw line six rebounds two very important assists right there you saw one of the best plays of the season with that pass but he made gorgeous passes to Chris Bosch late and he made the six free throws the last six points of the game these two guys have catapulted themselves as you said Eric they are the leading scoring duo in the NBA I want you to vote on as we roll through of course the Haitian for life Keith Askins tenacious he would go up against the greatest of all time. He'd go up against a guy that came in like him, undrafted, and give him all the business they needed. Then, Bowen. Oh, he got most of his acclaim about playing in San Antonio, but it all started with the Miami Heat. Thunder! Yes, we knew about the ability from long range, but the fine product for the Mid-American Conference did the things on the defensive end. Bimbo Coles, alongside Keith Haskins, they would do some things in the backcourt that would really just make your mind burn in fire of frustration. And our own Eddie Jones could do some things. When you put the rock down, he might rip it from you. Now, next Friday, we'll go to what I like to call the Wade era. We'll go to new school. Of course, Sean Marion, oh, the Matrix. He can get those long arms. He could be disruptive in the post and out on the perimeter as well. So he's a guy that has to be on the list. How about Posey? I mean, the man did it with a ring. Then he got paid because of that defense. I mean, did he take charges like Udonis? I mean, he did some things and then went and got another ring in Boston and, and, and has made a lot of money. Battier started this whole discussion because the man is a methodical, maniacal menace on the defensive end. And then D-Wade. Who steals him? Who blocks him? At the same time, better than that dude. Particularly if you're seven feet. He'll go up and get you. But he'll rip it and create. And by the way, there's a man who actually has some all defensive uh, resume items that we must respect people. So this week, next week, we vote. Then on February 10th, we bring it all together and we will have a winner, the best perimeter defender in the. There's Miami and the night. It is a big game Friday in Miami. Always a little extra sizzle when it's the Miami Heat and the New York Knicks. A great rivalry from yesteryear. Should be a great game tonight. And look who's back doing his pregame pull-ups. Dwayne Wade, after missing six straight and nine overall, is back in the Heat starting lineup. And Tony Douglas will move into the Knicks starting lineup alongside the rookie Iman Schumpert. Landry Fields, Amari Stoudemire, and Tyson Chandler up front for the Knicks. But D-Wade, Tony, back in the starting lineup for Miami. A little more energy by the Heat. They got their uh, all-world player back, one of the best players in the world. And uh, D-Wade is back in uniform. Everybody's excited about that. Well, tonight's chip of the game is delivered by Papa John's. Better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. Tonight, the 95th all-time meeting between the Heat and the New York Knicks. A rivalry that has been tenacious. Our officiating crew assigned to work tonight's count. But the big show has been the power dunks of D-Wade and LeBron James. 18 points between them and six dunks between the two Heat superstars. Gang, look out below. This is their 22nd timeout. The Heat used as earlier this game. Great job by Cole and the defense again setting up the fast break point. You remember the Heat were struggling with fast break points. Tonight that's their eighth. How pretty was that Tony Norris Cole. See he located LeBron early. You know there's no such thing as a no look pass. It's really you have up on the play did not hang his head hustled back somehow got in front of fields to block this shot. What an outstanding play after turning the ball over. At the arena, including many celebrities, including heat season ticket holder Jimmy Buffett, who will be in concert tomorrow night here. Alex Rodriguez, Miguel Cabrera, you know those baseball stars. Alan Houston, current Nick executive, and former Nick head coach and Hall of Fame Pistons point guard Isaiah Thomas, the current head coach for the basketball program at FIU. <laughs> Look Coach. at that, Eric. <laughs> there you are, brother. There you are, too. Check it out. <laughs>
You got a big head, Eric. <laughs> you got Jax in the I background. I bring that home for Dariel. And Jax is in the background. They got Jax up there, too. Oh, baby. Check that out. I think it's a dog boy yeah, for all of us. Dunks for Dwayne, five for LeBron, and here those two stars collaborate. Through the roof, Dwayne Wade. And look out for you, you fired up two threes in rhythm. Splash. I mean, what's wrong with that? Not hey. I'll take it every single day. And, uh, you know, as a shooter is trying to find my rhythm, it, it'll get there. I, I promise to the good people of uh, Miami. The Knicks starters tonight, 59-56. Dwayne Wade was terrific all night. He had the five steals. He had the two block shots. He was 11 for 19 from the floor. Did not show any rust at all from being out for almost two weeks. Just terrific. He had eight points in the fourth quarter when the game was on the line. He would had a three-point lead going into the fourth. And he just did the job he had to do. You see the steals there, the block shots, getting to the basket, helping the Heat have uh, what 20 points on uh, fast breaks. Good job by the by Dwayne Wade. And, and so then Wade LeBron with a season high five steals and a season high five dunks. And then LeBron, he had 31 points tonight, 11 for 18 from the floor, nine for 10 from the foul line, getting a. The alley -oop pass again from D Wade. We haven't seen that in a while with Wade out. And LeBron scored 11 points in the fourth quarter. So he and Wade scored 19 of the Heat's 25 to outscore New York 25 to 18 in that quarter and come away with a win. So you got to love the way LeBron plays through all of the uh, minutes and all the uh, little Nick, you know, Nick injuries here and there. And these two guys again coming through like they usually do when they play together. Let's do it. Guess who's back? He's back. But first, it's LeBron to the rack. Jam. Then Wade. He had five steals. That was one of them. And then, oh my goodness, up in the air. Then LeBron returns the favor. Am I going to see it again? Oh, that is nice right there. Then Dwayne. What am I going to get right here? Am I going to get the Euro? Euro step. That's nice. Then Dwayne. I think the ankle is, is fine. I think it's okay. Put some ointment on things, some Epsom salts, and then that's how you end the quarter. That's how you end the quarter, LeBron. Let's go to the second quarter. Oh, no, we're not done? Look at his face. Look at his face. You better get out of here. Scowl me. Second quarter. It's three time for the Knicks. First, that dude we used to know. And then out of Marquette, can I get Steve Novak for three plays? Then Bill Walker. And what in the name of Frank Martin is going on with him? Seven threes in this game. Mike Miller, he's not been shooting a lot of threes. Matter of fact, this is a two. Puts the heat up one, though. And then Norris Cole, the steal. Here we go. Find the trailer, young man. Cram it in the boots. Yes. LeBron. 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 And then Cole, jumper, splash. He had eight points in the game. Wade. Nice look for LeBron. Get it in there. 48-43, and then Wade. Right off the glass right there, and then he's going to flip it, reverse it, and throw it down. Oh, a little, another kisser off the glass. The heat up by four at the break. Let's go to the third quarter. Bill Walker. And if you didn't get the Frank Martin thing, Frank Martin coached at Miami High, then at Kansas State, where Walker played, and didn't do a bunch of this. Did he do a lot of this, AJ, when he was at uh, Kansas State? I didn't think so. AJ speaks to the producer of these highlights. I'm tired of Bill Walker. Get him off my screen. Wade, show me one of your five steals. Takes it from Fields. Just takes it from him. And then to the other end, welcome to Deltropolis. Stole that from Twitter tonight. We like that one? Studio audience, do we like that one? They do. They don't like that, though. And then Battier is highly aware that three is a family. He went to Duke, so he knows the square root of nine is three. Oh, that's nice. LeBron, take it inside, son. Puts the heat up three to end the third. Let's go to the fourth. Novak's back. You know what he's doing. Up, stand by three. Miller, two again. He had his foot on the line. It's a two-point game. Wade back in the game, and then back off the board. No, that, I thought that was going to be a kisser. Cole, where's he at? Oh, that's Wade with the tip in first, but I, I, I need Cole and I need him now. That's Bosch. All right, Cole's not happening. I was lied to. Like a Bosch, made it right there. Oh, that, that was my favorite of the night right there. Oh, went up and got it. Touched the roof, slapped it three times. They're really, really good. Where's LeBron? 
It's spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning LeBron, my goodness. Oh, that's a, that's a dagger. That's what it is right there. Start the bus, hug him up, give me my championship back. How do you spell your name? I want to use it in word for friend. Word with friend. There is the box score, people. Walker, ridiculous. LeBron, typical. 31, 8, and 7. Isn't it great to have D-Wade back, everybody? Who's coming with me? Final score, 99-89. Heat basketball returns to Sun Sports on Monday night when the Heat take on the New Orleans Hornets. Heat Live delivered by Papa John starts the night off at 7 game at 7.30. This has been a presentation of Sun Sports, your exclusive home for Miami Heat basketball. For Eric Reed, the coach Tony Fiorentino, as well as a very sleepy Joanna Gomez, here on Local 10 tomorrow morning. I am Jason Jackson. Thank you so much for watching. Good night, South Florida. I'm going to the stage. Here's final take. That's game. 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 That's game.